I'm Teacher Emily. Today we're going to be looking at something called elephant toothpaste. Now we imagine that the teeth of elements, elephants are huge. So we're going to make a product that looks like they could use it to clean their teeth. Now what we're going to use is you'll see here I have a graduated cylinder. Inside the cylinder I have put 70 mils of hydrogen peroxide. Now hydrogen peroxide is a very popular chemical. We use this for removing pigment from things like hair. We can also use it in cleaning products and we can use this in many, many cleaning and health industries. We're going to be combining it with some warm water, some yeast and some dishwashing liquid. It's common dishwashing liquid you will find it in any home. In this reaction, we'll be mixing the warm water and the dish soap in a large beaker. We'll then add yeast. Now, yeast is a catalyst. A catalyst means it helps a reaction start to react. It is the thing that makes it start to foam, fizz, or bubble. So let's see. In this jar, I've got some dyed orange water. We're going to pour about uh, hot, well, less than 100 mils of water, not too much. All right. You would usually try and get down to eye level to make sure you are accurate. All right. So there we go. You can see we have that's about 50 mils of water. Into this, I'm going to add our dishwashing liquid. Hold it up so that for a bit to let all of that soap go into the water. Then we are going to add the yeast. This is the yeast. We've added hot water so that this dissolves very, very quickly. So we add the yeast and I'm just going to swirl the beaker around until everything is nicely mixed. Right, you'll see it is now already starting to look thick and viscous. Alright, so we mix and mix until everything is equally distributed in the solution. Right. When it's done, it looks a bit like a uh, fizzy drink. Alright, we're then going to take this and just for the exciting part. Now remember, in the science you need to be set. When working with chemicals, you should have a parent or a teacher nearby. You should also be wearing your personal protective equipment. For this, I have a mask, I have my safety goggles, I have some gloves, and I have my lab coat in case this gets onto my body. Alright, so now for the fun. We're going to add this in here. And you tell me if you think this looks like elephant toothpaste. Oh my goodness! Now you see there are massive bubbles and foam coming out of this container. What is happening is the hydrogen is rapidly decomposing. It means it's breaking down. As it breaks down, it releases two things. Water and oxygen. The oxygen bubbles get trapped in the dishwashing liquid soap and that's why we get this wonderful foamy substance. If you were here and you would feel this, you feel that it is getting very, very warm. You could also use a thermometer to see just how warm it's gotten. So let's see how hot our solution is. We're going to place it in there. While I'm wearing my gloves, Get this close to the bottom. So I'm going to count now for 15 seconds. 12 seconds later. That got up to 45 degrees. Well, it's dropping rapidly, but you might be able to see in that thermometer. All right. So that tells us that this is something called exothermic reaction. Thank you for watching.
watching.